Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into at before each annotation. Well, at before each annotation is a J init lifecycle annotation. At before each annotation marks a method that should be executed before each test method in a test class. Well, whenever you want to mark a method that should be executed before each test method in a test class, then you can go ahead and annotate that method with at before each annotation. This annotation is pretty useful for setting up the test environment such as initializing the objects and setting initial conditions. Well, instead of writing the same repeated code in each and every test method, we can create a method and we can keep the common code in that method and we can annotate that method with at before each annotation. Okay. So in this way, we can reduce a duplicate code. And this at before each annotation annotated method ensures a clean state for every test method. Next, let us go ahead and let's understand at before each annotation with example. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and here go to the test package and go to the annotations package over here and here right click new and then choose Java class. Let's give class name as before each demo test next within this class let's create a test methods well here we have a calculator class it has a methods add subtract multiply and divide next let us go ahead and let's write the j unit test cases to unit test all these methods and then we'll use add before each annotation to mark a method that should execute before all the test methods okay so go to the before each demo test class over here and here let's quickly create a JUnit test cases. Well, in previous lecture, we have already written a JUnit test cases to test calculator class methods. So let's quickly copy it. Go to the disabled calculator test class. And here, just copy these four JUnit test cases. So instead of writing the same code, let's copy it so that we can save some time. And here let's remove this disabled annotation. And let's also remove the import. Perfect. Now we have add test J unit test case. Within that we have written a logic to unit test this calculator add method. Next here we have subtract test J unit test. Within that we have written a logic to unit test subtract calculator method. Next here we have multiple test J unit test case. Within that we have written a logic to unit test multiply calculator method. Next here we have divide test J unit test case within that we have written logic to unit test divide method of this calculator class object okay perfect next if you closely observe this code over here we have created the instance of calculator class each and every J unit test case okay and think like why not we create a common method and we keep this common piece of code in a common method and we can call in a respective places okay so let's do that so here let's create a method wide and let's call it as setup okay and within a setup method let's create a calculator class instance perfect next let us call this setup method in each and every j unit test case so instead of this calculator object here just call calculator calculator equal to and then setup next this setup method should return the calculator class object so here just change the return type of the method and let's add calculator and here let's have a return statement and then return calculator object okay perfect Next, if I run the JN test case, this should pass. Okay. So similarly, we can just remove the object of calculator class from each and every JN test case and we call this setup method. For example, let me call this here as well. Similarly, let's go to multiply test and just call setup method and in a divide test also call the setup method. Okay. Perfect. So this is how we can reduce the code okay by keeping the common code in a separate method and calling that method in a respective places we can 
avoid the duplicate code okay next let us run the test class and look at here all the test cases passed it means we have successfully refactored the code next let us think like instead of calling this method in each and every JUnit test case why not the JUnit itself execute this method before each and every JUnit test case within this test class so this is where the at before each annotation comes into picture next let us go ahead and let's annotate this method with at before each annotation so that JUnit will execute this method before each and every JUnit test case so in order to use add before each annotation we should make this method return type as a wide so here just mark wide and remove this okay and remove the setup setup method call from here and here let's declare the calculator instance here private okay and just create an instance here like this that's it and remove the setup method call from each and every test method now we also reduce some lines of code as well okay next let us go and let's annotate this setup method with add before each annotation make sure that you choose add before each annotation from org j unit jupyter api package perfect next let us go and let's run the test class and notice here test passed it means that add before each annotation annotated method executed before each and every test method in a test class next in order to make sure that like this method is really executing before each test method let's go ahead and let's put the system dot dot print statements so here let's have a sysout and just print setup method calling something like that and just copy this system.println statement and go to add test method and here just paste it and let's call it as add test method calling and go to subtract test paste it and here just add subtract test method calling and then go to multiply test paste it and just change to multiply test method calling and go to divide test paste it and here also change divide test method calling now we have added system dot dot statements to each and every JNU test case so that we can make sure that this setup method is you know executing before each test method in a test class next let us run the this test class and just check out check the result and here you can see setup method calling before each and every test method you can see setup method calling setup method calling setup method calling setup method calling the setup method is called four times and there are four JUnit test cases all right so whenever you want to mark a method that executes before each and every test method in a test class then you can go ahead and annotate that method with at before each annotation and this is basically useful whenever you have a common piece of code in each and every JUnit test case so you can keep that common code in this at before each annotated method so that this common code will be executed before each and every test method just like this okay great in next lecture we'll take a look into add after each annotation all right great i will see you in the next lecture